So we're here at the Chicago Midwinter and the show uh, opened today and we've been here on the booth for about four hours now and uh, I've had a lot of dental professionals coming up to me and um, showing great interest in Implant Studio, uh, our implant planning and, and surgical guide design software. Um, seems like one of the, the big concerns in going on right now is, is about efficiency and, and, and how to provide better implant uh, treatments in, in general. And that's where we really feel that with Implant Studio we have a solution that's uh, enabling users to, to do really uh, high quality prosthetic driven implant planning and surgical guide design. And with our 2015 version of Implant Studio that we are showing for the first time here in Chicago, we are showing a, an optimized version and launching a new workflow for edentulous treatments uh, of, um, of, of patients. So what we have here is basically the, the input data to our edentulous workflow. So on the left we have the patient CT scan and we can see that the software has automatically detected the radio peg markers. On the right hand side we have the CT scan of the, of the denture and uh, again the software has automatically detected the five radio peg markers. So once we've detected the markers we want to align the scans as we do in, in, the, in the normal workflow as well. And here we see the result of the alignment and when the alignment is done we confirm it and we move on to the, to the next step. So the next step really is a gingiva marking step where we mark the inner surface of the of the denture to extract the gingival information that we're later going to use in the in the guide design um, and, and calculation of the of the surgical guide. We have more uh, diagnostical tools as nerve marking and uh, and uh, here we also see how the, the gingiva has then been uh, spanned across the uh, the jaw based on the move, on the marking that we just did. A very central step in our workflow is of course the implant planning step so throughout our application we have really thought efficiency and, and usability into, into the, the design of the software. So what we see here is a planned case. We have placed four Im implants in the patient's mandible and as we also see we have now uh, anchor pins available. Furthermore we have expanded our implant library quite a lot um, with new implant manufacturers so we're now covering uh, a lot of uh, different manufacturers. Um, when we're happy with our implant planning uh, basically what we do is then we can go on and automatically calculate uh, a surgical guide based on the planning and then the important factor is of course that we output this design in an open STL format that you can then go ahead produce on, on, on a 3D printer of your choice.